guys, Antonio Zella here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom. You saw the title. We're going to be reviewing the Triceratops. Her packaging is just the same as all the other War of War packaging. Um, it's, you know, it's a volcano. It says the name of the dinosaur, Roarvores, and then it shows how the action feature works. Then there's one in blue. And then on the back, it, uh, it again shows you, it goes over how the action feature works push sound, I mean push button for sound and head ramming action. And then you get um, all the other Roarvores you can get. So there's the Allosaurus, the Baryonyx, and the Metriacanthosaurus. These two have been reviewed on my channel. I want to get the Metriacanthosaurus very soon though. Then there's a tab up here that says, get the Jurassic World Facts app. I guess we have nothing else to do but to take her out of her cage, or box, or her plastic prison, or whatever. So here she is. All right, there we go. So here she is out of the box. Now I'm not gonna lie, this figure looks absolutely awesome. The details on the head are exquisite. On each side, it is all just amazing. And ooh, I didn't notice that there's actually articulation where you can move side to side. I thought it was just up and down. That is pretty cool. And. Uh, once again, the sculpt is just amazing. You can see the bone structure, the muscle structure, going all the way down to the neck. That's pretty good. Like right here, the fold. Sadly, there's a seam right here that's not really noticeable from this amazing toy. And there's a huge seam right here, but that leads to this amazingly sculpted leg. Sadly, there's no toe claw paint. And then there's a uh, this really wrinkly belly. It looks so realistic. Just literally photo real. It looks just like it does from the movie. And then right here, there's this strange looking white spot right here. I don't understand the point of that. Um, and then there's these nicely made legs um, with the muscle structure right here, as I mentioned earlier. And then right here is the butt, which looks pretty nice. Here's the barcode crap that I don't care about. And right here is this tail. And that's pretty much all for the sculpt. And here's the QR code just in case you want it. One of my favorite things about this toy is the way they chose the colors. The main color scheme is a kind of lightish brown color. And then on its back, there's a kind of earthy brown. And then right here on the crest, there's sort of a baby diarrhea sort of color. I, that's honestly exactly what it looks like to me. But um, then there's these bright white, um, scoots honestly i think that the scoots right here and the crests the horns those should have been colored to be more of a dull white or light brown that would have looked a little bit better than just solid white so before i demonstrate her action feature let me show you her articulation and movement so first the head can move up oops <clears throat> anyways so the head can move up and down and then side to side so you can get some really realistic movement right here in the neck and I think they did a really good job right there and then um, right here the legs go this far forward and this far back and they go out just a little bit and then they go back in oops and then uh, these legs pivot out and then back in that much and then they go 360 degrees, which is really nice. Now let's get into the fun part, her action feature. So there's a button right here on her back and when you press it, it creates a sound just like all the other Roar of Wars. And then, so let me describe all of them. So the first one, that is kind of a moan, like after charging, like, that's what it kind of was. So the next one, that is just a growl. The next one, same one. Sadly, they're not in order, they just play on random, so I might play a bunch of them again at the same time. So anyways, the next one, that is a roar. So it's a light hiss and then a growl. Here 
is the charge of Rallygan, so that's pretty much all of the roars. So that pretty much tops off this review of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Roar Vore Triceratops. If you're interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy reviews and many other great things to come.